Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, Election Commission of Pakistan has rejected the nomination papers of former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Now he won't be able to contest the elections. Uh, how do you assess the situation when you call for free and fair elections? So I would say that Pakistan's uh, future leadership is for the Pakistani people to decide. Uh, our interest, as you've heard me say before, is in the democratic process. We want to see free and fair elections which are conducted in uh, accordance with Pakistan's laws. And we don't support one candidate or party over uh, uh, another in Pakistan or anywhere else in the world. So in his latest article, former Prime Minister Imran Khan once again came up with the accusation. Uh, I, I know we talked about this many times, but the new accusation in that article is that United States wanted to establish military bases in Pakistan, which he refused. That's another reason U.S. government was angry. Do you want to? I, I will just say, as we have said before, the former prime minister's accusations are baseless. Um, and I think I'll leave it at that. So last question, sir. Uh, during the recent visit, did Secretary Blinken engage in discussions with the Pakistani army chief and ISI chief regarding Pakistan's military involvement in politics? Uh, I, I'm not going to get into private diplomatic conversations, but we have always made clear it is for the Pakistani people to choose their government.